before ending this video i would like to say uh, that no matter what life throws at you no matter how hard the phase is how bad and battered you are do not forget one thing there is always light at the end of this dark tunnel all you have to do is stand up face it and walk straight through it never ever lose hope Hi everyone, this is Amish at the side. Welcome back to another video in my channel. In today's video, we will be discussing all you need to know about Tower Research Capital. It is the ninth edition to our company review series. It is one of the most requested videos out there in my channel. I have been bombarded with queries about making a video on Tower Research Capital, making a video on coordination, making a video on sprinkler and so on and so forth. And I would like to remind you all of those videos will be dropping just like all the other company reviews here. I have discussed in detail everything about Tower Research Capital. I have discussed about the different job families that they have. Uh, the type of work that they do, the work culture as well as work life balance. Not only this, the tech stack, where different teams work in, which teams have exciting work and which teams don't have exciting work. Not only this, I have also discussed about the compensation structure as well as exact compensation detail at SD1, SD2 and SD3 level. So without further ado, let's get started. If you're thinking what this is, this is just tank. Uh, it's around 5 20 in the morning and i need some energy right now and tank is giving me that and i like the taste that's why sorry for that as we all know tower research capital from now on i will be using the term trc to denote that uh, is a fintech company it works in the high frequency trading domain what does high frequency trading means it means that trc develops such algorithms which enables them to buy huge volume of shares very frequently across different markets TRC is a complete trading company and has three parts, the front office, the back office and the middle office. The front office is a section which is closer to the trading desk, which is closer to the markets and where all the cooler projects are. Back office is a section which generally deals with post trade activities, which means once the trade has been executed by the front office, all the things that needs to be done, all the activities that needs to be performed is being performed by the back office, middle office forms a conduit between the front office and the back office. As a general rule of thumb, the closer you are to the front office, the closer you are to the trading desks, the cooler your projects are. Hence, all the high frequency trading, low latency C++ projects are present in the front office. However, the DevOps as well as the post trade activities are actually powered by Java, Python and Golang as the primary drivers. Having said that, I have a disclaimer to make. Uh, Whatever skills that you will learn by working in this low latency C++ projects in the front office, in the high frequency trading section or high frequency trading division of TRC, those skills are generally not transferable, meaning you will not be able to use those skills for any other domain in the industry. Hence, if you are someone who wishes to you know, go back to a large scale distributed system kind of a company, the skills that you learn here will not help you at all. But on the other hand, if you do want to establish your career at HFT, which is high frequency trading, and TRC is one of the best firms out there. Frankly speaking, the work-life balance at TRC is not so great. On average, in a week, you will be spending around 50 to 55 hours, which means on a daily basis, you will be working for at least 10 to 11 hours. And that's the average. Employee satisfaction, on the other hand, greatly varies in TRC. Some of them find it extremely good because of the challenging work that the front office have. On the other hand, some of them can become extremely burnt out because of the high work pressure. As well as in some of the roles, it is also kind of expected that you will be available over the weekends. But that's mostly not the case for software engineers. Though you are kind of more or less expected that you would be comfortable working in uh, US hours. The benefits that TRC has, they are pretty standard, nothing out of the ordinary. They provide you with food, uh, breakfast, lunch, evening snacks and dinner. Apart from that, they also provide you with cab facilities in and around Gurgaon. They have their standard healthcare benefits, which every other company has. And 
give you five weeks of paid time off, which is also kind of the industry standard in India. In India, TRC has its office in Gurgaon and there are other offices in the world as well, like in New York, Singapore, Shanghai and many other places. In TRC, though, there is a provision of international relocations, but they do not happen that frequently. If you compare it with the companies like Amazon, Microsoft, Google, where uh, you can relocate internally to different countries with ease and many people do it, in TRC, that's not the case. In TRC, the average annual hike is very less. That is, the increment that you receive on your base salary will be very less. From a percentage point of view, it will be somewhere between 5 to 9%. Generally, not more than that. Obviously, there can be other cases, outliers and stuff. Your base salary will increase, but it will not increase exponentially, as is the case with major tech companies. Even in case of promotions, there is no extra hike per se. And it's the same hike or more or less the same hike that you will receive in case of annual increments. However, in cases of promotion, the performance bonus ranges increase if we come to the compensation structure at trc it is very simple it just has two components one is the base salary which is basically the monthly salary that you will receive every month and the second is performance based cash bonus which you will receive once a year at the year end the performance based cash bonus depends upon your performance as well as company's performance so it generally has two components and based upon the two components your performance bonus is calculated as and when you increase through the levels, your performance bonus, obviously the range of your performance bonus increases and potentially a time will come where your performance bonus might become more than that of your base salary. Up until 2019, there was no leveling system at Tower Research Capital for software engineer. Everyone who worked at TRC had a designation of core software engineer. But after 2019, they have introduced levels similar to the ones that we see in other tech companies. However, there is not much specific job role definition of those levels and they are still figuring things out. If you are liking the content till now, a sub to the channel will be highly appreciated. And while you are at it, do like this video, share it among your friends and peers and comment down below what other company reviews you would want me to make. Now we have come to the most awaited section. We will be discussing about the exact salary breakdown at SD1, SD2 and SD3 levels at TRC. Let's start with SD1 level. At SD1 level, the years of experience required to join TRC is somewhere between 0 to 1.5 years of experience. The base salary range is somewhere between 30 to 33 lakhs per year. The performance bonus range is somewhere between 8 lakhs to 18 lakhs per year. All in all, for an SD1, the total compensation range varies between 38 lakhs to 51 lakhs per year. Now we will move to SD2 level. A quick disclaimer, at TRC, the performance bonus is not guaranteed from your second year onwards. So from now onwards, I will be considering the lower limit of the performance bonus to be zero. The years of experience required to join TRC at SD2 level is somewhere between 1.5 to 2.5 years of experience. The base salary range at SD2 level varies between 33 lakhs to 35 lakhs per year as well as the performance bonus varies between 0 to 25 lakhs per year. So all in all, in total, at TRC, the total yearly compensation at SD2 level varies between 33 lakhs per year to 60 lakhs per year. At SD3 level, the years of experience required to join TRC is somewhere between 3 years of experience to 6.5 years of experience. The base salary range is somewhere between 35 lakhs per year to 42 lakhs per year. And the performance bonus varies between 0 to 40 lakhs per year. So the total yearly compensation at SD3 level is somewhere between 35 lakhs per year to 82 lakhs per year. That's some serious money for the years of experience required to be at that level. Do layoffs happen at TRC? Yes, layoffs do happen at TRC. Not only this, at TRC in 2020, many of the interns got their intern offer revoked because of the pandemic situation. Not only this, they periodically do also remove low performance. At the end, I would like to say that TRC is a very good company to be in if you do want to propel your career in the HFT domain, which is the high frequency trading domain. However, if you do value your work-life balance much more, then I don't think so TRC is a company for you. Not only this, if you do want to ultimately switch into a company which deals with large scale distributed systems and not necessarily high frequency trading, then also I would say think twice before moving to TRC. And if you do end up moving to TRC, do continue working on your side projects and side hustles so that you can acquire the necessary skill to be able to interview at higher levels in other 
companies in other domains because the skills that you will learn in the high frequency trading low latency c++ projects is not at all transferable to other domains whatsoever trc will definitely provide you a platform to launch your career to the next level before ending this video i would like to say uh, that no matter what life throws at you no matter how hard the phases how bad and battered you are do not forget one thing there is always light at the end of this dark tunnel all you have to do is stand up face it and walk straight through it never ever lose hope and mind you all the hardships that you face will be worth it when you reach the light at the end of the tunnel thank you guys for watching till now i really hope that you like the content if you did then do like the video share it among your friends and peers and subscribe to the channel if you have not already and hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload such content do comment down below other topics where you want me to make some videos on it as well as comment down below other companies for which you would want me to make company reviews right now as a bonus uh, i am currently working on uh, getting the company review done for intuit as well as sprinkler so fingers crossed for that this is your host somajit bitten goodbye das vidanya